Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, my name is Peter Bullock. I live at 3120 North Highway A1A Fort Pierce. I wish to speak to you this morning about climate change economics. A driving principle underlying 750 is the alleged need to save the planet from global warming caused by man-made greenhouse gases, CO2 to be specific. 750's argument is that planners and their governments will save the planet by applying land use and zoning restrictions plus taxation to relocate population into dense stack and pack housing, having narrow streets, limited auto parking, and garage facilities, thus forcing individuals to abandon personal automobiles and resort to mass transit. This is a massive centrally planned re-engineering of how and where St. Lucie County citizens live and work. All this re-engineering, at what cost? All this re-engineering, at what benefit? As your, our local elected officials, this decision rests in your hands. Let's examine the economics of this argument. I suggest the cost side of the 750 plan to socially re-engineer St. Lucie County is so massive that its actual dollar consequences can't even be fairly assessed at this time. Just think about the huge intrusion into every resident's current way of life. Costs equal unknown, but huge. I wish to focus my discussion today on the benefit side of this equation, and only to the benefit of taking away residents' automobiles. I don't intend to discuss global warming for or against. Rather, I want us to get to the economic benefit to the environment of removing cars from our roads. The U.S. Census 2011 put the county household number at 103,900. The Conservation International website assumes that the average household employs 1.12 full-time autos, which gives us 116,000 full-time equivalent automobiles used in county households. They estimate each auto emits five tons of CO2 annually. Professor Robert J. Pindyke of MIT, who is a carbon tax advocate, publishes his latest, in his latest article in the summer 2013 issue of Journal Regulation, suggesting an economic price on social cost of carbon be placed at $20 a ton. This cost equates to $100 per automobile, or 20 cents per gallon of gasoline. This dollar value would be equivalent to the economic benefit involuntarily offered by a St. Lucie County resident toward cleaning up the global environment by granting 750 the right to save the planet by taking her car off the road. To place this dollar value into perspective, this issue, taking away all household automobiles in St. Lucie County, will only produce an estimated con contributional benefit toward saving the planet of $11.6 million per year. I must add, this is the maximum benefit that could possibly be attained. Assuming every county resident participated and sacrificed their personal automobile, there undoubtedly will be a number, some percentage of residents, probably a majority, who would never give up their automobile regardless of cost. Remember what we said, costs equal unknown but huge. We've now calculated benefits, 11.6 million maximum. Seems pretty obvious to me this cost-benefit analysis is already way out of whack. By supporting the 750 plan, this board would be condoning massive uprooting of residents' lifestyle and taking away of their cars for a relatively paltry environmental economic benefit. To put $11.6 million into perspective for you, over the annual course of 26 board meetings, your board approves over $500 million of expenditures, an average taxpayer expenditure rate of $20 million per board meeting. This 750 benefit to St. Lucie County residents thus merits no more attention than one half of one board meeting at most. Bottom line, as your personal legacy, do you wish to be known 50 years from now as the commissioner who approved imposition of massive social reengineering upon St. Lucie County residents for the minuscule estimated benefits toward saving our planet that I have outlined here? I urge you to withdraw from 750 now while you still can. Thank you for this opportunity to speak today.